Here you're watching triangle law of vector addition. The statement of the triangle law of vector addition states like this. If any two vectors acting at a point are represented in magnitude and direction by the two sides of a triangle taken in the same order, then the third side of the triangle taken in reverse order represents the magnitude and the direction of the resultant vector. Okay. So uh, this is basically a method or a way or you can say a rule of adding two vectors. All right. So uh, let me let me uh, make you understood by reading each and every uh, point. All right. If any two vectors acting at a point. Okay. So let's say I have vector. Let's say I have vector P. And let's say I have another vector. Let's say another vector is Q. All right. So these two vectors I do have are represented in magnitude and direction by two sides of a triangle okay so let's say i have a triangle here is my triangle and as per the statement right in magnitude and direction by two sides of the triangle so let's say this side is representing in magnitude and in direction the vector p means vector p is this side okay uh, both way in magnitude as well as in direction similarly let's say this side all right this side is representing vector q in magnitude as well as in direction so the magnitude of the vector q is this much and direction is this one all right so this p and q two vectors are representing the two sides of the uh, triangle in magnitude and in direction now taken in same order so from tail to head and again from tail to head so both have the same order right one after another one is being followed by another then the third side of the triangle taken in reverse order all right so here is my third side this is my third side taken in reverse order all right if i'm taking the same order it will be like this but if i'm taking reverse order it is like this okay so one is going towards this another is going towards this but we're not coming like this we are going in reverse order all right so the third side taken in reverse order so it is in the reverse order this third side represents the magnitude and the direction of the resultant vector resultant vector means the sum of these two vectors so this is here resultant vector which is actually the sum of this p and q means the sum of the two uh, these two vectors p and q or you can say the resultant of this p and q is represented by the third side taken in the reverse order all right so this is what triangle law says so if i have let's say if i have this triangle if I have this triangle and uh, let's say this is A, this is B, this is C. And if I want to add, let's say, vector, uh, let's say vector AB and BC, then see here, vector AB and plus vector BC is representing in magnitude and in direction the two sides of the triangle, the sides AB and BC, right? Here AB is representing in magnitude and direction this side as a vector and this BC is representing this side, uh, this vector BC, in magnitude as well as in direction, then the resultant of these two is given by the third side, all right, by the third side taken in opposite order. So this is going towards this, so another is going in opposite order, all right. So this is vector AC. So here AB plus BC is equals to AC, taken in opposite order, all right. So, uh, so similarly, let's say if I have this triangle, uh, if I have this triangle, and if I'm giving this direction and if I'm giving this direction, then where will be the resultant's direction? Yes, this is in this direction because one order, like, because you need to uh, write the resultant in the opposite order, right? So these two are in same order, all right, same order, but the opposite, this one should be in opposite order, this one should be in reverse order, that's it. So, so anywhere, all right, let's say, uh, let's say this is P, this is Q, this is R. And any two sides, let's take in order. Let's say this one and this one we are taking in order. So it's QP plus PR. We took in order. Then this will be uh, now PR, right? Then now this will be uh, the QR taken in reverse order, right? This is in the reverse order. So it will be QR, okay? So now if you go if you go with the symbols directly you want to write without making figures now see this is qp qp and pr all right so remove this middle section and then you'll get qr all right so simply if i'm writing let's say uh, mn vector mn plus let's say vector no okay then simply 
the resultant will be you know just remove the middle part just remove the result uh, middle part that is vector m o all right and if you if you want to learn by graph also then like take a look at this all right let's say this is a triangle m n o then we added m n which is this one and we added n o which is this one so the resultant will be after removing the middle one this n n so that will be m o it means this one and see the triangle is exactly holding here right these two sides are taken in order and uh, representing in magnitude and direction of the two vectors let's say vector m n and n o then the third side taken in opposite order that is m o represents the resultant of these two represents the sum of these two vectors all right so uh, if you want to make the graph that is more better if you don't want to make the graph then you need to remove the middle you know from the middle you need to remove these two and you'll get the m o all right similarly if you want to write let's say uh, x y plus y z then it will be simply you know remove this uh, y y so you'll get x z and in the triangle if you see uh, let's say this is the triangle all right let's say this is x this is y this is z so here if you look x y you know this is representing this one y z this is one this one so the third side in opposite order represents the resultant of that all right